welcome to another one of my speed builds. For today, our travels bring us to Hanford on Bagley and we're building a fantasy themed cafe. So in case you didn't know, today, which is June 24th, is actually the International Fairy Day. And of course, I am celebrating because if you know me, then you'll know how much I love fantasy. I love fantasy everything, like fantasy movies, books, video games, and fantasy builds. So yeah, that's what we're celebrating today, you guys, and I hope you're going to enjoy this. So if you're wondering why this suddenly appeared out of nowhere and I didn't show the process, then I am so sorry for that. I absolutely do not know what happened to the recording. Um, I probably either forgot to record it or my recording software like malfunctioned and didn't save the video or I probably even deleted it by mistake so yeah I am very sorry about that bit but I don't really think that I sh missed anything important because it's like a pretty simple build like the cafe itself is pretty basic and there is nothing like to special or complicated about the process of building it and I also placed these mushrooms and logs in the recording that disappeared. Uh, these mushrooms are from the Black House set by KiwiSim and they were just perfect for this build. The idea for this cafe is that it's a fairy cafe, so it's built on top of this tree stump, hence the name Tree Stump Terrace. And I used this chair, which is from Outdoor Retreat, as a base for the cafe. And I also placed the mushrooms I mentioned around it. So these all together like give the illusion that this is like a tiny cafe instead of like a sim sized cafe. So this is how you know that it's for fairies. And then I also like placed this floating tree on top of it. Um, it's I think from either from Get Famous or from my wedding stories, there is like a floating tree that doesn't have a trunk. And I never knew why that that thing is in live edit because I never like understood it. But it was just perfect for this specific build. Like um, it gives the illusion that the trunk ends at the cafe and then the cafe is a continuation for the trunk and then on top of the cafe is the you know the leaves for the tree so that's my idea for that and i also play some hanging lanterns and lights and it looks absolutely magical um this row of mushrooms here are like supposed to be these fake stairs that lead up to the cafe but of course your sims can't use them as you all know the actual stairs that your sims will use to go up to this place are hidden in the back well they're not really hidden but because they're on the back of the build you can't really see them but that's basically what your sims are going to use and they function pretty fine um, but it does take your sims a bit longer to get into the cafe because they have to like go around a lot and then go up the stairs but it's nothing like too complicated there are a lot of mushrooms in this build. I used these mushroom chairs from Cottage Living. I also used some mushroom table lights and a lot of mushrooms from Cottage Living as well. The white ones, I also placed them all around the tree stump. And it's just because that 
fairies and mushrooms just go hand in hand. You can't have fairies without having mushrooms, at least in my opinion. It's probably because of the infamous um, fairy ring. I forgot what it's called. I actually got it right. It is called fairy ring. And if you don't know it, then there are a circle of mushrooms that occurs naturally in nature, especially in the woods. And it's like the one of the closest things that we have to magic and fairies in the real world. There are a lot of myths and fol folklore stories that are formed around these rings. Uh, most of them are like misfortune instead of good fortune. There are so many different tales about it, like if you enter the fairy ring, you will disappear or you will be kidnapped by fairies. Um, some tales say that you will be forced to dance with the creatures until you either die of exhaustion or until the fairies get mad and tell you to stop. Uh, some tales say that they are good luck. But a lot of the folklore in Europe associates it with witches, devils, and just bad luck. But I personally, like, I think there are a omen for good luck. Like, I've never seen one in real life, but I think that if I did see one, I would consider myself a very lucky person because they are kind of uncommon and hard to see so other than that um, we are now in the exterior of this cafe I'm using a new creator today because I wanted a new cafe set and it's the rise and grind set by little Dika. I, I don't know if I'm, I'm pronouncing that right but you probably know them they are the one who made the famous sweet treat set um, which is pretty popular and I absolutely love this set it has so many things that come with it and it also works perfectly fine for a fantasy build which was quite surprising it's because of like the wood textures of it and everything I did have to cover like some modern looking items that didn't really go well with the build which I, I think uh, straws and such I just covered those with some plants and this set comes with the most beautiful ceiling plant uh, you probably caught a glimpse of it but I'm gonna place like a few more pieces all around the cafe so you're gonna see it if you didn't don't worry and I just I always need new ceiling plants because I absolutely love them and this one has a very unique shape like you can see a small part of it right now um, I also place a lot of lights in the ceiling like hanging bulbs there are the ones that come with I think it's parenthood but I'm not entirely sure but I have CC for those that are like just the hanging bulbs separated from the wooden pole and it's from Raisin Lotus and it's absolutely one of my favorite things by them. They have a lot of like separated objects from the game packs but that is probably one of my used pieces by them. That and the greenhouse set. I absolutely love their greenhouse set. One thing that I did with the interior of the cafe that I absolutely love is placing all these different types of chairs. Like I didn't place the same chair twice except for maybe two chairs in the corner by the entrance. But all the other chairs are different and unique and I love doing that like even in the dining rooms of regular houses. I love placing different chairs if possible. 
and yeah that's pretty much it for this build so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope that you also love fantasy builds as much as i do if you do please let me know in the comments and i actually have a surprise for you so you know how i only upload every friday because of the ridiculous increase in my internet bill well, I managed to upload another video and I am going to publish it on Monday. So you're gonna see my next speed build on Monday in instead of next Friday. So yeah, that is my surprise for you. And hopefully I'll be seeing you then. Don't forget on Monday. And yeah, love you guys. Bye.